Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chenny180, and it's that time of the month again. It is time for our figures of the month. Uh, my figure of the month was going to be SH Figure Arts Guts, Armored Guts. Um, love the sculpt on the figure. Their articulation is crazy. It, it looks like it's like coming right out of the books. You know, it, it, it looked killer. But then upon shooting a picture, it broke on me. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was horrible. Um, so I have some cool footage here to show of what I was doing with it and how awesome I thought it was until it broke. Um, so, yeah, we've got some headshots here and some turnarounds. And, yeah, really cool looking figure. Uh, it's just very unfortunate that mine broke. So instead, my figure of the month is going to be Marvel Legends X-Men 97, the whole wave to Goblin Queen. Executioner, Nightcrawler, Jean Grey, Cyclops, and Magneto. Now, uh, they, they're really killing it with these X-Men 97 figures. I really love the first wave, and I didn't think that I was going to like the second wave as much as I do. You know, there's a couple nitpicks here and there. Uh, Goblin Queen's costume paint is missing. Um, Cyclops' head sculpt, not, real, not a real big fan of that. Um, the weird execution for Jean Grey's articulation, even though it works really well, oddly enough, but overall the wave in a hole is a solid wave. You know, you've got upgrades to Nightcrawler. Um, you know, you can pop off that Cyclops head, put on the, uh, the cell shaded one and Oh man, it's cooking. It looks great. But overall it's been, it's been a fun ride and I'm very, I'm very happy that, you know, Augie had challenged me to watch the show because I'm having a good time watching it. Um, it's pretty fun, and it kind of like amplifies these good figures that Hasbro is putting out. So my pick of this month is going to be <laughs> the entire wave two of X-Men 97. Cyclops, Jean Grey, Goblin Queen, Executioner, Magneto, and Nightcrawler. Take it easy, guys. Ooh, I kind of wanted this. All right, there we got shipped out. Nice. Three weeks later. Oh, was that the doorbell? Oh man, it might have been FedEx. All right, it's already here. Nice. Oh man, I wonder what it is. I hope it's uh, my Mega Man. All right. My pick for figure of the month is the Jada Toys Mega Man figure. I know everyone's excited about the Street Fighter stuff, but let me tell you, I couldn't wait to get my hands on these Mega Man figures. I'm all in on these. These are small and so much fun. The accessories are dope. I mean, they're damn near perfect. You know what I mean? So... If you guys haven't jumped into this line or the, or any of the Jada stuff, you're doing yourself a disservice. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed my pick and my little short video, and I'll catch y'all next time. G'day guys, Chamba here, and my April figure of the month is SH Figure Arts Guts Berserker Armor Heat of Passion. What can I say? This figure, absolutely stellar. The sculpt, the articulation, it's just top notch. If you had the previous guts, I know most likely you've had some issues with it, particularly in the wrists and maybe the ankles. But this one, zero issues with the ankles. The wrists still are not strong enough, but as you can see, you can pose him really, really well with it. And he can actually hold it well with both hands. It's just single hands, always going to be tricky. But yeah, the figure is really good. And if you're a fan of Berserk, you should get this. Hi. What's going on? This is Augie. And we are doing another quick and dirty comedy minute of Augie's figure of the month. And this should come as no surprise. I've been loving G.I. Joe Classified. So the figure of the month is Duke from G.I. Joe Classified. Uh, ooh, oh, oh. 
Duke from G.I. Joe Classified. This figure is just outstanding. I put it up next to the vintage toy so you guys can get a look. This is actually one of my favorite aspects about the line is we've been getting these carded versions that almost look like one-to-one -one reproductions of the original 1980s painted art, which is what I've always wanted uh, the figures to look like. Just look at that the detail. If we can get every single G.I. Joe to look like their uh, painting counterparts, this would be absolutely an iconic line if it isn't already. Just push it into that from 100% to like 120%, but just check that out. If we can get every figure like this, whew, we're possibly looking at figure of the year here. So yeah. What's up, Doy fam? This is Jurassic Jesse hitting you with another figure of the month. This is April, 2024. This week I got in the Zesray Studios, combatants, fight for glory, fails. The Shredder. Dude, this guy is beefy, chonky, just like I like my figures. He's got alternate feet, alternate hands. He's got this big battle axe, mace hanging off the arm, fully posable, paint's awesome, soft goods. This guy's everything that I wanted. His joints are smooth like butter. He's gonna go on my shelf battling my Wonder Woman. You know it. This is my pick for April 2024. Peace. Hey, what's up guys? Lago here. Um, my figure of the month is the Nacelle Company Moto. I think uh, it's a well-made figure. It looks just like the uh, show and it articulates pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with it. Out of the three, I feel like this one's the one that moves the most. And also, um, I don't know, I had a lot more fun with this one than the other two, but they're all great. So yeah, make sure you check them out. So yeah, that's my uh, my figure of the uh, of the month. Peace. Hey guys, what's up? It's the one and only following the Fed here for Toy Migos figure of the month. And yeah, Adam called it. It is going to be Quick Kick. Yes, I am Storm Shadow. I love Storm Shadow. But as it goes, this was a formidable foe for him. But I was always in love with Quick Kick as a kid. This was my pocket fig. And the way that they, they did this one, I feel like they did it justice and correct. I mean, he comes with three different pairs of hands, an alternate head. He has two katanas that go in the backpack. Look at a set of nunchucks. He has a throwing star um, effect that's in there. Like, you couldn't ask for more. I, I, I love what the Joe team has done. But to hit my heart with this figure, like my heart melts when I see this one and I have it in hand and, and I have a pocket fig again, just like when I was a kid. So if you ever have the chance and you find him at Target or you order one, he's got to be a part of your collection. He's from the original cartoon. Look, at he comes with his chocolate fudge bar that he was shooting the commercial for. Like they, they just knocked it out with this one and I'm so happy with this figure. Uh, definitely going to be in the top 10, but if you have the chance, get one for yourself. I'm going to get an extra just to make sure I have one safe to put on the wall and keep it Ernie. And now, Storm Shadow and Quick Kick are going to have a lot of time to fight together. All right, peace. See you in the next one. My Toy Amigos April pick of the month is... The Mezco G.I. Joe Storm Shadow. Why? Because I'm Storm Shadow. 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 Because I'm Storm Shadow.